Welcome to Nourishing Conversation with Nicole and Christine. We are discussing health and wellness topics where we feature local business owners producing foods and high quality products throughout the French Riviera that not only nourish our body, but also the planet. Uh, today we're talking about spirulina, one of the most super, super foods in existence. This microscopic algae has been growing for eons but we've only known about the scientific nutritional benefits since about the 1960s. However, ancient cultures have been growing these green waters and knowing the amazing benefits um, for as long as people have been around. Uh, the first reference I found uh, was one of Cortez's soldiers in the 16th century wrote about the Aztecs selling these green paste cakes and later they discovered that in the lake, uh, it was actually spirulina. And today we are gonna learn about these green paste cakes. There's nothing as nourishing as spirulina, um, concentrated in such a small size. Uh, and we're gonna dive into the amazing benefits. And then we're also gonna bring you a local spirulina farmer, Damien Stefan of Spirulina de la Cote d'Azur. So, First, we're going to have Christine come on and tell us how the spirulina is chock full of nutrients and how it's an excellent source of bioavailable iron and protein as well. So it's good for vegetarians and vegans. Christine, thank tell you, us Nicole. About spirulina. <laughs> thank you. So, as Nicole said, spirulina is an amazing superfood or a super superfood. It's probably right at the top of the list. And it's simply jam packed with nutrients and these nutrients have been shown in research to help with muscular endurance so it's fantastic for athletes. Um, it may help fight allergies because it has an anti inflammatory um, part to it helps reduce blood pressure and may even lower cholesterol as well as many, many other benefits now. It's maybe considered the protein of the future, because the protein content is really high when you actually think about 100 grams of red meat is 27 grams spirulina of actually protein. has of protein <laughs> spirulina has 57 grams but apparently spirulina in the south of france has the world record for having 65 percent of protein in its spirulina so we may get onto that later with damien um, mm -hmm. Spirulina is also very rich in B vitamins, one, two, and three. Um, it's rich in iron, as Nicole said. Uh, it's the non-heme form of iron. So in effect, it ideally should be taken close to having something with vitamin C in it to help with its absorption. It's rich in magnesium. It's rich in potassium too. And many studies have actually shown that it really is one of the most nutrient dense foods that there actually is. I like that actually qualifies as a food and it's not just um, the supplement that some people might be thinking about is, that is bottled up on the shelves. Um, but not all spirulina has the same amount of benefits. Some sources are better than others. One of the things I really like about spirulina is that given the environment we live in now, we're exposed to many different kinds of toxins and we can't see these toxins. They're just circulating in the in the air around us. Um, and there are a lot of heavy metals in our environment, which and these heavy metals have the ability to latch onto our cell receptors, go into the cells of the body and then um, basically either affect function or stop, which is even worse, stop another nutrient latching on. For example, um, if calcium was the mineral that should be latching onto the cell receptor, a heavy metal would stop that. So mm. spirulina is so powerful that it actually can be used as a detoxifier and help break down some of these heavy metals. So that's a really, so really important. positive. Yeah. Yeah. Really, and I think really it's good to mention that, I mean, even if people live a healthy lifestyle, um, there are some surprising sources of toxins that we might uh -huh. not think about or can't even avoid, like air pollution, water pollution. Car exhaust um, if, streams. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you're in big cities with, with the constant smog layer, um, it's inevitable that it's going to fall down on. Yeah. Um, and I think given the fact that, that our immune systems are under constant bombardment at the moment with all the viruses that seem to be exploding um, and different bacteria strains. 
spirulina is also very good at supporting the immune system. Um, mm. It has a compound called phycocyanin, and this is a powerful antioxidant that can help fight off uh, things that could cause damage to cells. So if you feel a cold coming on, uh, or everyone around you seems to be falling sick, um, which seems to be <laughs> the case. Many of us have been seeing. <laughs> yeah, then it can't hurt to actually get some extra spirulina into your diet to give your immune cells a little bit of support. So I think, I think it's fabulous in that respect. Um, it's also very rich in beta carotene, which is um, the plant form of vitamin A, um, which we all need. And vitamin A and vitamin D actually work in synergy with each other. It's not all about vitamin D. And what I like, um, which I think is one of the reasons behind its um, superpowers, is that it's rich in an enzyme called superoxide dismutase, which we're going to go into a bit later. Yes, we are going to go into that because it's amazing. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. So yeah. Any, over to anything you. else to add? Okay. So uh, without further ado, we are going to bring you this fabulous spirulina farmer who's here in Chateauneuf de Grasse. Uh, Christine and I visited his farm the other day, Spirulina de la Côte d'Azur, and uh, we saw the ponds, we saw the process, and we even tasted the final product, uh, which blew us both away because uh, it was actually really pleasant and enjoyable, which is yeah. not easy to find with it's, Spirulina supplements. It's not, is it, Nicole? I mean, I've been no. put off in the past because I've yeah. literally tasted pond water and it's really put yeah. me off. But yeah. I was it so can get surprised. fishy sometimes, and yeah. I, it makes me gag, and I just don't even take it. Sorry. Exactly. No, <laughs> and I haven't. But now I'm. I've actually been converted by trying this wonderful spirulina. By Damien. I'm, I'm totally. <laughs> All right. So welcome to the show, Damien. Thank you. Hi. Hello. So um, we just. I just want to say in the very beginning that your spirulina tastes amazing that strong funky algae taste that you can get with a lot of products has put me off completely and we were standing in the farm there was no water there was nothing and he he pours out a little bit of this uh crunch that he calls it um right into my hand and there we go let's just taste it i'm thinking oh god <laughs> And it was we, really good. It was really, really it good. It was so good. We were like small kids holding our hands out for more. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. We asked for more and um, it just, it has a, an amazing texture. It kind of melts in the mouth a bit and, and it's crunchy. But anyway, anyway, tell us what okay. spirulina is exactly and how you got into growing spirulina. Okay, uh, spirulina, it's a cyanobacteria, okay? Uh, it's, it's not algae, really. It's cyanobacteria, oh, okay. include, include in family algae, uh, okay. microalgae family. Mm -hmm. But it's very important to see the difference because bacteria have a lot of protein, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, another thing very good, it's the bacteria with the photosynthetic process, okay? And then that's why it's green, right? Yeah, yeah, it's green and uh, it's a world record in concentration of protein in the same time. And you never find the plants green and with a lot of protein. The process, it's uh, really simple. I've got pools and inside the pools, I've got salt and high pH. And uh, during the summer, I've got a good temperature for growing the spirulina. It's more than 25 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm and uh, less than 35 degrees. And in, in this window, the spirulina grow every day, 10% per day of this oh, wow. biomass. Yeah, it's really important. And um, it's a protein. The beta carotene is secreted uh, for protecting against the sun. Mm. And uh, it's the, the first, uh, for the vitamin, it's the mechanism of the, the vitamin. And the mechanism of the mineral, it's simple. I put the mineral and the oligo element in the pools and the spirulina eats the mineral. Mm -hmm. And after they, they give the mineral for us. Morning during the, during the process, I take the spirulina in the pools and I, I filter the spirulina. Mm -hmm. And um, after I use a cylinder, turn on him 
and gets the water and the biomass yogurt. And uh, I, I, I drink the water of the biomass with a machine. Uh, I don't know in English the name of the machine, but it's not important. You, you, dr you drain the water. Yeah. So you're, yeah. you're separating I drink the water. The yeah. and the water. Yeah, exactly. And um, it's the yogurt spirulina before the machine. And after it's a pasta spirulina. Best. Okay, so okay. it's so it's like a so it's like a thick yogurt in the beginning, and then yeah. you put it through the machine, and it's it's like yeah. a paste, almost almost like clay, right? Yeah, like uh, yeah. algae. And, yeah, yeah. And the name uh, at this moment of the process is the spirulina fresh, and uh, mm -hmm. it's living spirulina, and um, I eat every day spirulina fresh. But may I ask, in, Damien, in, just very quickly? Yes, yes. How does the taste differ with the fresh spirulina compared to mm. the dried one that we tasted? Is there a different taste compared yeah, to really. the dried? Yes. Yeah, really. It's it's like um, you can put the spirulina on the bread and eat spirulina with the bread, like a cheese. Okay. Yeah, and you were telling us actually that they were doing this in different countries, weren't they? They were actually using it almost like as a butter on on their bread. This paste. Um, was it in india uh, no it's in africa africa uh, often, okay. yeah often it's for for helping uh, the young boys who need to to have protein Malnour malnourished yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay it's, so in it's, africa it's, it's uh, malnutrition uh, and uh, they give of, of the uh, street children the spilling i like that around the, the farm they yeah. they simply use this paste on top of bread to give nutrients yeah. to those underprivileged and malnourished children. Yeah, it's more efficient. It's That's more great. Efficient. Yeah. And um, in my farm, um, after I put the spirulina in the extruder and mm -hmm. uh, I make spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And uh, the spaghetti dry during the day, around five, six hours, it depends of the biomass so what, the what, what you yeah. mean by spaghetti is the it comes out of the extruder in these very 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 fine yeah yeah a, a big spaghetti, like spaghetti with a, yeah yeah and uh, it's impossible to put the spaghetti in the move it's it's too long <laughs> <laughs> he has and, uh, a very large drying yeah. machine so so it yeah, extrudes yeah. onto these trays and it's like yeah. this long kind of yeah. strings of, of of the spaghetti basically <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a big machine one meters mm. on two meters it's a wow after six hours okay i i, I work on the morning six o'clock uh until uh, 1 p.m and after i put in the dry the extruder sorry and uh, during six hour is drying around 40 degrees sometimes it's 42 sometimes it's 40 it depends of the quantity of biomass and mm -hmm. then i go back in in the in the evening and um, the spirulina is okay and at that point uh, it's completely dry and hard yeah after it's finished dehydrating yeah um i i test the spirulina every day and sometimes you need more uh, 20 minutes one hour more mm. sometimes it's okay so and, is um, is the entire process around 10 12 hours for you to produce the the finished product from start to finish yeah it's right yeah it's, it's, it's good the end of the process is to, to make the green your green bundle it's to broke the spaghetti oh, and yeah. the bundle the, uh, put in the package uh, yeah the packets of yeah yeah the it's the, it's a, okay. yeah it's it's not the same day it's another day after it's uh, mm. really hard to do all the things in the same day yeah, and well, that's uh, a very long day <laughs> yeah 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 too long too long the good thing it's the season it's not 12 months per year it's just six around seven months and uh for the for my health and the body it's it's okay for six months but no more <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you're going to be you're going to be in perfect health because you are living off this spirulina throughout the year yeah yeah yeah, I'm very, I'm very, uh, yeah. Uh, i've got and a lot of power but uh the inconvenient in the greenhouse is the temperature i yes, work indeed. around around 11 o'clock i work in 42 degrees mm. and that's it's very hard. hard for the body yeah. and uh, I can, it's Berlina, it's Berlina, it's Berlina, it's, uh, 
we were talking about um, air pollution and how spirulina can actually absorb some of this. Um, so why is it so important, your location of your farm out in the yeah. Pays de Gosh? Thank you for this question. It's very important to, to have a spot of spirulina far of the, um, of the pollution because um, Spirulina can absorb heavy metals in the water, mm -hmm. but in the air as well. Where is my farm? It's um, just in the foot of the mountain, and we have not a lot of car around. And for me, it's it's a it's a it's a good. It's very important for for farmer spirulina. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christine told them that it's very good for detox okay it's okay for human but as well for the water as well for the air and uh, and, and you have mountain and, water as well right yeah yeah i i've got uh, i have this luck uh yeah it's a fresh water source and uh and no farming pesticide residue inside and uh, my farm is 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 very lucky about the sun the water and uh, the French Riviera is very, it's a good, good country yeah, for is. spirulina. Yeah. So this is actually a really important point that you're putting across about how you're um, producing your spirulina because the mass produced spirulina can be really contaminated with the heavy metals, which actually defeats the whole purpose of its great function as a detoxifier. So it's really important, everybody, to know where your spirulina is coming from and how it is grown. And is the water that's being used to grow the spirulina a fresh water source? And is it an open or closed tank system to prevent any um, pollutants coming in from air sources and surroundings. Yeah, I know the location makes a huge difference. I know in the United States, there's a lot of brands of spirulina um, that are actually made in China. And tests have shown that the, that spirulina was contaminated with heavy metals um, and most likely because of the water, because the water drains through the fields, there's all the factories, there's pesticides. And so the, if your water is not good then your spirulina is not gonna be good. So here we have the wonderful mountains of fresh, you know, snow in the winter and drains through the mountains and feeds into Damien's spirulina yeah. tanks. <laughs> Thank you. And, so, and also want to say that your tanks were immaculate. The pools, everything, you must work so hard to keep everything clean because, you know, we walked in and, and Christine, you said, oh, it smells really nice and fresh in here. Yeah. Because it could have smelled like some gross... Thing, no, it, 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 was... it really did. It was a really pleasant yeah. experience and it, it just felt so fresh and clean and yeah. therapeutic to be within, be within your, the confines of your farm. But I have another question, Damien. So yes. we also know that chlorella is another great detoxifier. Can you explain yeah. what the difference is between spirulina and chlorella? Yes, um, chlor chlorella is uh, a lot of chlorophyll, okay, and it's very small. Um, spirulina is um, more long; it's not the same size exactly, and uh, we it's very difficult for a farmer to to fil to filtrate uh, chlorella. Filter. Okay, mm -hmm. you need you need to be an industrial for have a machine for the filtration, mm. and the other problem for the chlorella is the pH. You have a micro competition uh, at eight of pH. It's the pH of the chlorella. At 10 pH, you don't have competition inside the pool. The spirulina is the winner, always. Just that difference of yeah. two pH makes a, a huge difference in what grows. So there's much more competition of other things and maybe even not so good things that can grow with chlorella, where spirulina has no competition at all at 10 yeah, pH. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's a sanitary condition, uh, very important. I think uh, the, uh, the chlorella in France, I don't know a farm of chlorella. It's, you, it's impossible for a farmer 
to have the machine and to to keep in the open environment uh, mm -hmm. a good um, a good condition for growing chlorella without over microorganisms. Mm -hmm. And for me, chlorella it's it's okay for for detox. But the spirulina is 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 better because you have a lot of phycocyanin, and the phycocyanin it's a protein very interesting. This is what I was trying to remember that you were talking about. Ficocine. Oh, okay. Ficocine, yeah, it's, Ficocine. it's, it's the, the first nutrient uh, of the mm -hmm. spirulina. It's the first one. Okay. And you said that's, that's what makes it grow, right? For ficocyanin, okay, the secretion of uh, beta-carotene depends on the sun. When they have a lot of sun, spirulina secret beta-carotene for protection. And um, the, the oversized, the hover face, it's the phycocyanin. Uh, mm -hmm. Spirulina secret phycocyanin to, 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 to catch the, the light, to catch the sun. You know what I mean? And Yeah, so and it, it spreads it, it out it, so it has more surface area. Yeah, I, I need to put the cover <laughs> for growing up the phycocyanin in, inside mm -hmm. the spirulina. So the cover blocks the sun and the spirulina yeah. then grows more because it, yeah. it yeah. wants the sun. Yeah. And then do you take the cover off? For a few days? Uh, sometimes uh, during the, the spring and the autumn, okay. when the light is not very good, intense. not yeah. very high. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, that's great. And I have a reason why I personally think spirulina is better than chlorella too. And that's because the chlorella algae has this hard, um, it's a hard cell wall that is actually not possible for humans to break down and digest. So you oh. can only have chlorella as a supplement, as a powder or as a capsule or in a pill form. Whereas with spirulina, we've tasted ourselves, Nicole, um, we could actually have it as a nice crunchy uh, snack. So mm -hmm. for me, that's a super positive benefit of the spirulina compared to chlorella. We can actually use it as a food rather than thinking of it as a supplement that you have to have. And just a side note to mention, because my day had been crazy the day that we went to the farm, I actually wound up not having breakfast. We, were, we met at two o'clock and it was after we had toured everything. So now we're at almost at 3 p.m. and I was starving. Um, and then just, just the little bit that he put in my hand, I, 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 it stopped me like, feeling super hungry I got home I wasn't I wasn't starving dying to eat I think you were hungry. energized you I were was energized. energized and I didn't really notice a difference not to say that you can skip meals but it just happened that way mm -hmm. um and and I felt nourished which was really surprising and I was worried oh god I haven't eaten anything is it going to make my stomach hurt mm -hmm. I was fine it was it was good I felt fine I wasn't like dying for food when I got home so it, it is definitely a food and it is nourishing. <laughs> so while we're still talking about detox, uh, let's talk about SOD, superoxide dismutase. It's a mouthful to say, uh, but it's yeah. even more complex yeah. in the body. So Christine, yeah. this is like a super antioxidant, right? Yes, it is. We have um, so many... Uh, exposures on a daily basis but our body is naturally creating free radical damage um, and this is why I think it's so beneficial for those top endurance athletes who are producing masses and masses of free radicals it's a, it's a powerful antioxidant that helps prevent damage to the the molecules in cells um, so then it's supported not causing as much damage to tissues and what have you um, so it's, it's, it's extremely powerful. You could even say anti-aging in that respect because that's all down to free radical damage. So the spirulina ponds are like the actual fountain of youth. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> so. Damien, how good of a source of superoxide dismutase is spirulina? Um, for me, um, I'm, I'm the farmer. I'm, I'm not a nutritionist. And uh, I, I, I know that I have... A, my spirulina superoxide dismutase, dismutase sorry but mm -hmm. uh, I, it's for me it's just a powerful antioxidant i think you, you don't have a lot of uh, food we have uh, this uh, yeah. sod uh, 
-hmm. There are, you can get superoxide dismutase in things like cabbage and um, broccoli, but the levels in spirulina. There's a melon, there's a melon too that's rich in it. Yeah. But the levels in spirulina are exceptional. Um, mm -hmm. And what has to be said that when you're looking at a fighting disease that is so prevalent around us, that um, the superoxide dismutase enzyme has been associated with significant risk reduction due to lowering oxidative stress. Um, in diseases such as hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, arthrosclerosis, diabetes, heart failure, stroke, and other cardiovascular diseases. So if you get enough superoxide dismutase in you, you can actually maybe reduce risk of any of those. Super important then. Yeah. So um, we actually, Damien, spoke about your spirulina yeah. <laughs> and spirulina ponds in general being the fountains of youth. Um, and we also mentioned that spirulina is the protein of the future. Now, why is that? Um, because um, you, you don't need a lot of water. You don't need a lot of space and you have a lot of protein inside the spirulina. And uh, is the world record in tin concentration. Comparison of the soja, the soja oh, it's a, it's soy. plants mm -hmm. with protein, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, need more space, more water. It's not for the ecosystem, it's not okay. Yeah. It's not good. Growing soy and, is actually very yeah. destructive to the yeah. planet. Animals, yeah. protein, animals, it's for the future of the planet it's uh, we we have to to eat less yeah uh, so it's a animals. sustainable and, form of protein yeah and uh, and the spirulina it's it's um is the best way for humanity to have protein without animals of course and and without uh, uh, novel plants we need a lot of space um i just want to say that uh, all the spirulina is organic. All the spirulina is organic, but but not all the spirulina have the label organic. It's it's okay. a yeah. It's not a, a guarantee of quality. Organic in spirulina is not a guarantee of quality. Okay. Again, because it depends where you're growing your spirulina. Another producer could call his spirulina organic, but he might be producing it next to a very busy road, so which kind of defeats the whole. Yeah. So uh, yeah. an organic label on spirulina. Yeah, maybe, it, it, maybe it doesn't yeah, make that much of a it, difference. It, the, the, the first, um, first criteria, the water, second drying, and uh, it's... Um, you have to choose the spirulina, uh, and when you when you read in, uh, behind the the packet. Yes, you read mm -hmm. on the packet to check where it's coming from. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. and and and, uh, and find on the website uh, the, the production. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so you so you know where it's coming from. Yeah, it's the. Okay. I think it's the only important thing. Okay. So for the reasons um, that we talked about for, um, for spirulina being the protein of the future, it turns out that um, NASA and the European Space Agency have been studying spirulina as a food crop. Um, and they're researching it for having that as the agriculture on Mars because it's small, it takes little water, it takes little space, and it's very highly nutritive. Um, and they're even using um, spirulina inside of bars for astronauts now. So there is already spirulina on the International Space Station. <laughs> um, so on your website, it says the south of France has the record for the highest protein content of spirulina. Is there a reason? Is there an explanation why it's different here? Um... I'm not, I, I, it's not my farm who have the record of protein. It's, it's okay. just the, the process system of drying, uh, keep the mm -hmm. nutrients, okay? And all the small farmer in France use the same system okay. with, with a little drying. 
and uh, it's uh, the windows it's uh, 55 between 70 percent of protein okay and uh, and when you are an industrial you use the high dry uh, you you burn okay. the spirulina during mm -hmm. one minute and you 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 lose low, you lose nutrient the, the production of farmer spirulina and industrial spirulina is a little bit different okay okay so small batch small farm is the way to go it's better for have a good prediction. Yeah. You told me that a lot of your clientele are athletes. What benefits does spirulina provide for endurance for athletes, especially triathletes and marathon runners? Oh, uh, yes. Um, the benefit is to, to, to find a better feeling when you are in the training. Yeah, you, you have... Um, you, you can have more vitality during mm. the effort, okay? And you feel better for the recuperation as well because you have all the BCA, the good BCA. They have branch chain amino acids. So you have mm. a complete, the complete set of, of amino acids to help repair and regenerate the muscles. Yeah, thank you, Christine. Yeah, it's uh, the acid amine, it's for building protein and, and cellule. Okay, and um, you, you feel more strong when you hit spirulina. I've got uh, a lot of uh, athletes who consume my spirulina. And you, you have some when, when... reviews on your website from, an, from a runner who said he took spirulina before but once yeah. he took your spirulina, he really noticed the difference. Yeah. In fact, uh, when you when you try to eat spirulina to, to make a cure, when you are a man, a man and woman, it's a little bit different eh? because uh, often the woman needs more iron than mm -hmm. the man. And um, it's not the, the, the same grams per day. It depends on your metabolism, mm -hmm. your, of your plates. Muscle mass. Yeah. Often... The man eat just two grams of spirulina per day, and when when you are an athlete, you you, you feel nothing with two mm. grams, and you need more. But if nobody explained to you the way, the good way for using spirulina, you you don't find the the, the benefits of spirulina. Mm. And uh, when you try two grams, after two three day three grams four grams five grams one day you 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 find the, the good quantity of spirulina for have a good feeling mm -hmm. and sometimes the, the athlete when you find that the, the good quantity is five grams or six grams they have a really benefit to to eat spirulina and um, mm -hmm. he hit every day he, it's possible to hit every day it's not a problem but yeah. um, you need some time to break okay. yeah and I think it's really important what you just said there, that um, different levels are needed depending upon the individual and yeah. also how depleted or repleted, as another word, their body is of nutrients. Some people are better at retaining nutrients and others aren't. And the research is showing that anywhere between one and 10 grams is being used um, to, to provide benefits. Um, now, because it's a food that actually, as you said, increases endurance and vitality and helps repair, it's probably a really good idea to have in the first half of the day and avoid eating it, say, four or five hours before going to bed, because otherwise you might be jumping on the bed all night. Yeah. And, and you've been taking spirulina yourself, Damien. So if maybe you could tell all our listeners at what dose you actually feel the benefits? Okay, uh, the health allegation is two grams per day per person. Um, it's okay for the Im immune system. It's okay for the antioxidants. Uh, vitality, it's 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 um, it's okay, but not for everybody. For having the, the, the vitality feeling, you have to find the good. Yeah. Everyone has to work around yeah. to find what works for them. 
but you actually take it yourself. So could you share? Ah, so yeah. Could For you... me, during the season, I eat between six and 10 grams per day. Oh. And uh, if I forget, I forget. I think my body, uh, no, if mm. I forget, I don't need. Um, and do, but, you, do uh, you feel a difference if you skip Yes, day? of course. Yeah, of course, mm. of course. So of you course. feel more, more tired? When I work, when, no, no, not really, not really. You keep the nutrients one yeah. day. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, I don't they're find stored. The good word, but yeah. yeah, they're stored. If then. the Monday I, I eat 10 grams, um, Tuesday I hit as well, Wednesday I forget, and I, I don't, I, I don't need really, but um, I know if I need energy, if I have a challenge, uh, I know if I eat five grams, I feel good. If I, if I eat two grams, I feel okay. And if I don't eat spirulina during three days, it's sure I'm tired. Okay, sure. so yeah. how do you suggest then to um, the people listening or your clients that they take their spirulina. Do you advise them to take it every day for a period of time? Yeah, it, it's yeah. a possibility during a cure between mm -hmm. three weeks, three months. Okay. It depends. Okay. And uh, every day in this case. Um, and uh, after the beginning cure, uh, you can eat like you want. Uh, the most important for me is to to looking for the vitality feeling. Yeah. And when you you meet the feeling, you meet spirulina, and you know which way you need. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of vegan eat spirulina on the salad. He put mm -hmm. all the crunch mm -hmm. on the salad. and never eat spoon in the morning. And um, for me. In the beginning, one spoon every morning, no chew and swallow with the lemon juice. It's perfect for for fine feeling, vitality. Yeah. But so. after, as you want. Uh, I mm. know people who eat uh, one spoon in the morning, one spoon in the lunch, and uh, sometimes around uh, 6 p.m. if he needs energy for the evening, um, you can eat like that. It's not a problem. The problem is only if you eat to spirulina along the year, you have a, you. One of the risks is to have a, a lot of iron, mm. and uh, you don't need too much iron. Okay, and that. And Christine, is the, does your does your body hold on to the iron, or does it? No, mm, you are you less the iron. I think, but uh, uh, Christine, help me. But I think it's <laughs> one or two grams, mini grams per day. Yes. You lose mm. iron. But you, it's not like vitamin. You can keep iron day after day. Uh, you can. And, um, As you said, a lot of women are nutritionally deplete in iron because they lose it when they yeah. bleed. So a lot of younger females, especially. And, and then also there's the inability to absorb the iron so as we get older stomach acid generally goes down and you actually need good levels of stomach acid to be able to absorb a lot of the iron you get in food and i i think that the iron in spirulina providing you do have it as you said damien with something like lemon juice um, makes mm -hmm. it much more easier to digest and for the body to absorb because the lemon is giving you that vitamin c vitamin C and the acid yeah so it's mm -hmm. double whammy maybe through a straw yeah. so you don't reduce you know sort of burn the enamel away in your teeth and <laughs> and of course we noticed Nicole which is quite interesting that we were so enjoying crunching on the uh on the spirulina that we tasted we all had nice green tongues we do very green tongues but it didn't last long it went no. away very quickly I noticed um so you also had recommended, Damien, um, to have like a carafe of water and to put some lemon in it and a spoonful of the crunch and let it sit. It's possible. The first way is to, to have just a spoon, a big or little spoon in That's the, the beginning. That's the fastest and yeah. easiest. Just yeah, yeah, in yeah. In a spoon, down yeah, the Yeah, in spoon, <laughs> in the beginning of the breakfast, okay, for mm -hmm. uh, don't have a spirulina inside the teeth after <laughs> it's it's better if you if you are in the to work yeah. and um 
the second way, yes, it's possible to have one liter of water with uh, two spoons spirulina and uh, lemon juice, mm -hmm. and um, drink uh, every every hours of the day. You have protein, you have mineral, you have vitamin, and uh, I recommend that this way when you need to be fit. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't find the, the right word. Uh, when Everyone understands. <laughs> if you, okay, okay. If, you, if you're you. trying to lose yeah. weight. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, an important point because it can, it has been shown to maybe help with one's metabolism as well. So, Christine, is, if you were to do that and put it into the water and kind of sip it throughout the day, could that be a really good thing if you're fasting? Or does that kind of not count? Yes, it would. Um, but again, mm. because of the iron, you would probably need to put a drop of lemon juice in there. Yeah, yeah, with definitely with the lemon. It also helps with taste as well. But um, oh, you're yeah, talking so about the calorific. Technically, technically, it's not like a water fast your, because it's still uh, it's still got a small amount of calories in as well as being rich okay. in nutrients. Um, but you could definitely have so it, it wouldn't really count. Not as a complete water fast, but okay. you no. Know, but if you were going beyond like doing that, juices or mm -hmm, something and liquids, yeah. Okay. Uh, we haven't really talked about vegans and vegetarians much, but this is an excellent, excellent source. Obviously, for all of the reasons we mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about the vegan, I just want to, to talk about vitamin yes. B12. B12. Yeah. Yeah. It's often all the people believe that we have a lot of. B12 in the spirulina. Uh, it's right and it's wrong in the same time. You have 10% of your need per day of the B12 in spirulina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not 100%. It's uh, a lot of B12. It's not assimilated by the body. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit of B12 in spirulina, but it's, I think it's uh, not enough for all you need when you are vegan it's 10 okay. so, percent per so, day so yeah. vegan a vegan would still need to supplement with extra b12 it's in it's my opinion okay yeah. all the spirulina farmer it's not um consensual agreed upon yeah it's you don't, you don't all uh, yeah. agree i have okay. to say as well that the amounts that they suggest as in the government recommendations for b12 are actually a lot lower than we probably need so it's okay to go over and above um, what those requirements are. So I would definitely say vegans and vegetarians need to supplement. And I think this is a good additional source of B12 for those that are having animal products. So we've talked about the nutrition. We've talked about how it's grown. Let's talk about how we can eat it because your, your crunch material, the way it's made in this kind of crunchy, they're just little tiny skinny pellets. Yeah, and tiny pellets. It, yeah. It's delightful and you can cook with it. You can throw it into salads. You can, yes. you have on your website, a recipe for guacamole and putting it inside guacamole, which I love. Yeah. That's a great idea. Um, Christine, I know your your eyes lit up when it's we like it. Can you not see me now? I have this massive smile on my face. It's just <laughs> thinking of yeah, recipes. Yeah, and, and, very... and smoothies as well. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, the, with your particular form, because it's much harder, of course, with tablets or capsules. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about ideas of what we can do with it. I have yeah, one. Um... <laughs> Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was trying your lovely crunchy spirulina pellets, I had this idea of this wonderful raw cacao bar with loads of seeds and the crunchy spirulina crunk coming through. So I think we need to <laughs> create this wonderful high protein superfood bar. That's a good idea. And Damien, you, you also make chocolate. You have like a cacao yes, and spirulina yes, yeah, product. Yeah. I've got chocolate with spirulina. Uh, wow. It's a producer of grass and it's a Maison du Planteur make oh. my mm -hmm. spirulina chocolate. And, um, and the, the Maison du Planteur, they, they source the cacao beans directly. They bring it and they roast it in grass and they do all of the, the working of the chocolate. Yeah. Right here. 
I, 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 I take my spirulina, I go to the shop of Maison du Planteur and they make the chocolate with spirulina. But um, if you want to find chocolate, you have to go to the Marché de nos Collines. Mm. It's from a shop of the area in Le Rouret. Uh, the mm -hmm. Maison du Planteur doesn't send the spirulina chocolate. For okay, the so it's so if okay. you go to the shop in Grasse, to Maison de Planter, you will not find the spirulina yeah. chocolate. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it's very good uh, partner because uh, chocolate needs a 40 degrees around something like that for being uh, like a yogurt. The spirulina keeps the nutrients. If you put your spirulina in the, in the soup, more than uh, 45 degrees, um, it's not very good for the the integrity of the spirulina. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I make soap, spirulina, okay? And the soap, it's very important with the beta-carotene, okay, okay. For, the, for, the, for the skin. So maybe not cooking with spirulina, but adding yeah, it after. Yeah, after, after, just after, okay? okay? okay. When the temperature is uh, less than 40 degrees. Celsius, okay. Good to know, yeah. very good to know. Now let's talk about the difference between you have uh, your crunch, there's the powder, and there's tablets. And you said yeah. that you're, you're not a fan of the powder. Why, why is yeah. that? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the powder because it's hard to put the powder in the mouth. And mm -hmm. uh, it's good to, to mix in the smoothie. But uh, often the spirulina powder will have oxidation. Mm. Okay. Very processed and everybody knows and... yeah everybody knows mm -hmm. that oxidation is not good for the nutrients and um, the the tablet it's okay it's 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 powder as well powder it's more than no spirulina uh, I, I want to be clear about that okay yeah. if you find powder spirulina eat powder but if you have the choice between powder tablets and crunch Choose the crunch because it's more easy, uh, less oxidation, and uh, it's a less step of working on spirulina, and it's always better. Often, the people eat crunch during one month, two months, three months, and one day wants to taste tablet, and he tastes tablet during one month, two months, and he go, he <laughs> try the both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends. When you are traveler it's okay to have a tablet in your bag mm. it's more easy it's more easy if you are in the office and you have a meeting and you don't want to have the green teeth uh, yeah i understand <laughs> i understand but if you are in the morning during the breakfast uh, it's 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 uh, hard to to eat um 10 10 tablets 10 pills yeah 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 mm -hmm. it's uh, two pills it's one grams if you have five grams per day it's 10 pills That's and every morning yeah. it's boring it's boring yeah. you need a uh, drink a lot of water oh. it doesn't feel like a food then either does it it is just a supplement yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's not food and for me uh, spirina it's a meeting mm. and it's a food meeting my son um have, uh, four years the the last mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and uh, he, he liked to eat the, the pills of spirulina it's uh, it uh, he, he take the spirulina um, but not he, the crunch the pills okay. yeah and he choose the, the pills both, of course but yeah he, he hit the both but when okay. he find the pills up oh, he go and uh, <laughs> crunch uh, eat this it's um uh, yeah and how does um the shelf life compare between the pellets that you have and something that's put into a pill form does the crunch yeah. have a, a use by date on it two years oh, two years two years oh, yeah okay. yeah more if you want but uh, when you burn spirulina it's for eating now in my opinion but yeah. you can keep the spirulina during two years and uh, you have less of nutrients of course okay. um but uh, if you keep spirulina without uh, Humidity without light uh, uh, in your bag, in, in this bag, it's okay for two years. If you have a, a, a whole spirulina in your in your kitchen, you can you can eat it. You don't have toxic problem with spirulina. You just have okay. less nutrients. 
Okay. So the potency just drops a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now where can people buy spirulina de la uh, <laughs> Where? Um, you have a website. Yeah, I've got a website. Uh, spirulina Côte d'Azur uh, You can call it online. Uh, you can go around in the farm shop, uh, Le Marché de nos Collines. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, a possibility it's to pick up at the farm uh, mm -hmm. as well. If you call me uh, before, of course, and uh, you can find in a lot of shop in Côte d'Azur, only Côte d'Azur. You have the shop on the website, and okay. and if you just want a little. Uh, just uh, 100 grams you you can go to the shop uh, just uh, just near your home it's possible it's a good um, it's a good uh, it's a good price uh, generally but if you want more spirulina uh, around uh, 500 grams or one kilo it's, it's the best way to go to the farm and if someone is not local and they are in the uk or in another country do you ship internationally? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And not not America, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's too hard for the for, for the, the customs. Yeah, the law to importation. It's uh, not easy for me and for my English as well. And <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, but in Europe, yeah, I can send. I send to Belgium, to Norway. Uh, it's not a problem. You have to okay. call me or to send me a mail. In my website, I have the, the good way for of sending in Europe. Okay. Without problem. That's wonderful. And, and we'll, we'll have the address and the website and email uh, just in the description. Uh, yeah, please, please. Okay. So is there anything else you would like to add, Damien, about the spirulina or about your product that we haven't spoken about? No, I think it's, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I tell all the things about spirulina <laughs> i can speak about for one hour more but, I mean, we, uh, we, we covered a lot <laughs> yeah. yeah and you've had a wonderful english lesson yeah yeah a wonderful practice, practice. english lesson <laughs> for me <laughs> yeah yeah i uh, i practice every day with a little application but it's not like that <laughs> it's, uh, <Both> yeah. different <laughs> yeah all right well thank you so much for welcoming us to your farm and showing us the the process that you do yeah. uh, it was it's fascinating to see and spirulina is very complex in what it supplies but making it is very simple it's a pool you drain it you dry it and we eat it and it's it's uh yeah. and i'm a convert more simple than that yeah. me too okay I, thank I, you I, very much i really really much. loved it and it's saying a lot because i don't even touch spirulina the taste is horrible to me mm -hmm. But yours was really good, so okay, I'm, I'm getting some. Much. <laughs> it's a, it was a pleasure to meet you, and I'm very happy that you love my spirulina. Thank we are, and much, I know Jamie. that Christine's very excited to test recipes okay. and, and start cooking with it. Yes, <laughs> okay. I am. Thank you so much, Hello. Damien. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Nicole. And if you enjoyed this, please like and share it and uh, send it to anyone you think can learn more about spirulina and help their health with it. And that's all from us. Thank you.